Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing an art project using items you probably already have around your house or apartment. The items you'll need to complete this activity are some washable markers and paper. Please do make sure the markers are washable and not permanent because you will be getting the ink on your fingertips. If you have these items around your house, you might want to go ahead and bring them out. Crayons, washable glue, black construction paper, and glitter. The first thing you want to do is choose your marker color and you're going to use it to get ink all over your thumb, just like that. Then you're going to stamp your thumb on the paper until no more ink comes off of it. So these thumbprints that I made last are going to be lighter, of course, than the thumbprint that I made first. You can make the thumbprints all different colors. So next I'm gonna go ahead and do purple. You can also use different fingers. So I think this time I'll use my index finger. I'm gonna cover it with pink ink. The next thing I'm going to do is add legs to each of my thumbprints to make them look like spiders. A spider has eight legs, so I'm going to add four legs on the left side and four legs on the right side for each of my fingerprints, just like this. At this point, I have added legs to all of my fingerprints to turn them into spiders. And if I just wanted to write Happy Halloween on this and be done, I think this is really cute and could go up on a fridge, something like that. But I want to break out my glue and my glitter. And what I'm gonna use those items to do is I'm gonna use them to create a spider web that all of these spiders are sitting in. I'm gonna use my glue to make the web and I'm going to try not to make the glue too thick or too gloppy. Sometimes with glue, I tell my students less is more. The same with glitter, which we're gonna put on top of the glue. A little bit goes a long way. Now that I have the web made with glue, I'm actually going to slide a piece of construction paper underneath it. And that's just so that when I sprinkle glitter on top, the glitter doesn't get all over my table. So it doesn't have to be a piece of construction paper. If you have old newspaper, um, if you have any type of drop cloth that you can put underneath where you don't mind if you get glitter on it, I would recommend that just because once you get glitter on your kitchen table, you'll be finding glitter for the next several months. So that's why I'm using the construction paper. I'm gonna take my silver glitter and just kind of sprinkle that over top of the glue. I'm gonna pick my paper up by the edges and just kind of shift the glitter around to make sure it's covered all the glue. Then I'm gonna tip my paper vertically, just shake off the excess, and I'm gonna set this off to the side to dry. If you're like me and you don't like to waste glitter, what you can do is you can kind of fold your construction paper like a taco. And I can just pour this right back into my glitter bottle um, so I can use it for another project another day. 
This next project I'm going to do a little bit differently. I'm using black construction paper. I'm going to start with the web. So I'm going to be using a white crayon to make the web. The next thing that I'm gonna do is take a little bit of glue and I'm going to put it on my thumb. My thumb is still kind of blue. And I'm gonna kind of rub it around on my thumb a little bit. Maybe put some on my index finger as well. And I'm gonna use my thumb and index finger to place spiders, spider bodies, all around here. And now, before the glue has a chance to dry, I'm going to grab my glitter and I'm going to put glitter to make the bodies of my spiders. What I'm going to do now is give this an opportunity to dry. I would say around 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then we will shake all the glitter off and we can add the legs. In the meantime, I can put away my glitter, I can put away my markers, my glue, and I can wash my hands. So now, just like I did on the other paper, I'm going to add legs to each spider, but this time I'm going to use crayon instead of using marker. I hope you loved making the spiders with me. If you did the art project, have your mom or dad text or email me a picture. I'd love to see how it turned out. If you're interested in learning more about spiders, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to a video that teaches you the different characteristics of spiders and some fun facts about them. That's all that I have for you today, but I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.